<laughs> Look at <laughs> all. It's okay. crazy. Every single interview I do about come through, someone's always like, so how do you feel that that bitch stole your spotlight from the uh-huh. song? And I was like, I feel fucking incredible about it. Because, uh-huh. like, when, well, first of all, when, when she recorded the verse, I was in the room and I was like, this shit's gonna go viral. Right. How, how could it not? Yeah. And she had left to do UK versus the world. And when she came back, she called me and was like, shit, I, I got sent home first. Mm. And I was like, don't worry, baby. We have your viral verse. We gotta come through. And it, 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 will, it will happen for, 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 for you. And it was so cool to see that the success of this song for her was a, a, such a great moment for everyone to see how much of a star she is. Because when she was on the season, everyone was like, oh, Lemon's gonna win this thing. She just has the fucking verse that'll come through. She's the queen. So when they, she got kicked off, it was like, everyone was so shocked. She was like, I don't even care because like people now see me as a musician. She loves to rap. And like, uh-huh. she had this big win before that big like loss. And, and I, I just remember, it's good karma for her. Cause I just remember in those like, when we're not supposed to be talking backstage at Drag Race, she would always come up to me and be like, you're gonna win this thing. I know, I know you are and I'm here to support that. No matter what you need. Mm-hmm. She's like, I'm here. And I was like, that's so selfless for someone to be in this competition for a hundred thousand dollars tax free yeah. to be like, you're gonna win. Like, who does that? No one. Nobody. She did it, and she killed it. That's my best friend. What was the night like recording that that famous verse and recording come through? So, okay, the funniest thing about it is that we sent her, the producer at the time, sent her a, hey, this is what we think your verse should be. And Lemon was like, what kind of hokey pokey shit is this? And then, like, scrapped it and then rewrote that to the verse that you know today. Wow. It was amazing. She just came in for, like, an hour, did, did it twice, and was like, hey, see ya. And we're all like... This is the best thing I've ever heard ever. Yeah, it was amazing. Love it. All right. Look at him. Oh my God. Wow. She's beautiful. She's so, that's a great photo of her. <laughs> Where is that photo even Brooklyn from? Brooklyn Heights. I think that's from Mount Olympus. Wow, she looks rich. Now, did you know Brooklyn Heights before Drag yes. Race from the scene? So like, I never worked with her. I started drag quite later right. in life. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I knew of her as like the queen who like went to America to work at play in Nashville, mm-hmm. I think, right? Right. And it was like, wow, everyone wants to be like Brooklyn Heights one day. And that was all of our goal. Like Brooklyn is the queen. Uh-huh. And when I finally got to meet her and, and she was the first ever Canadian queen on Drag Race, which is so fucking cool. And I'm happy it was her because she was so good on that season. It was like, she was so supportive like she was just like yeah like I, every time she was in ontario I, i'd open for her she'd always make sure that i had a slot at any of her shows wow. she was very 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 supportive um and yeah she's amazing look at her now you guys have gone on tour together since the show we have right? gone on tour together so yeah. then you got some real sister time with her what's your favorite memory of brooklyn heights on tour the first tour we ever did together like right when i won canada's drag race mm. we fucking partied yeah hard uh-huh. drinking all the time <laughs> we got fucking wild and she can she, you can't tell if she's drunk or not ever really but she holds it together uh-huh and she is the queen of the north i'm not I mean, I'm glad you could clear it up here. I came here to the show to tell everyone that. But yeah, I, I love her. She's and very, you featured on her song. I did. Oh my God, I forgot about that, Queen of the and North. And is it true that you wrote something and they were like, can you not say yeah. something so mean? <laughs> I, what did I say? If um, if you're the queen, then where's your crown? Is mm, what I said. Oh, bitch. Well, wait a I, minute, wait a minute. Shit! <laughs> I literally, they called me and they, they were like, it's a dual track. It's like Priyanka versus Brooke. Like, who's the queen of the north? So I wrote a diss track. Uh huh. You know, like, I, I said, like, must believe I'm not afraid of heights. Uh-huh. Bitch, I'll take you down. Right. If you're the queen, then where's your crown? Like, I thought it was a diss track. And then they were like, um, do you mind just like being a little bit nice? <laughs> you're like, hey, Priyanka, we're gonna wanna hey, Priyanka, provide a you- united <laughs> front, okay? <laughs> and like, whenever you win a big show, everyone's all, always like, your ego, you know, you're, oh my God, your head's getting so big. So that is one of those moments where, where it was like, okay, so you need to calm down a little bit. I was like, what? I was yeah, I forgot about that, but she is incredible and she is amazing. That's my queen. 